The force effect user interface is pretty easy to discover, but this video will walk you through the UI and uncover some cool features and speed up what little learning curve that there is. To start a diagram, simply tap the screen. You can set the units in the upper right hand corner for your free body diagram. The toolbar on the left hand side of the screen contains the most commonly used or fundamental commands. We use this to create elements and draw our diagram. You can also add supports. Notice that the toolbar is dynamic and displays all the related commands. If you tap the info menu in the upper right hand corner, you can access your tooltips. This will take you to the associated help for each command. Once we add some additional constraints, the degree of freedom indicator in the upper right hand corner shows that the design is in equilibrium. The line segments also change to a hash double line indicating they're included in the calculation. To finish this simple diagram, we only need to add a known force. Now that force effect has solved the diagram, you can now see pink vectors indicating the reaction forces. If I switch to a select mode, I can now scale those vectors to fit the screen. If I tap and hold, this will bring up our context menu. Tooltips display after a brief delay. I can select dimensions to change their values. I'm going to add another line to this design so I have a little more to work with. Notice that the line is going to snap for you horizontally, vertically. It's also going to snap to endpoints and midpoints. You can also infer endpoint or midpoint snaps. It kind of works like tracking inside of AutoCAD. Once we place our line, we can now use two fingers to zoom and pan. A simple double tap out in empty space will zoom extents for you. Next, I want to use my select mode to manipulate some of the items in my diagram. In this example, I want to change my geometry, change the force, location, and vector, and then create a welded joint. To manipulate your geometry, simply drag it to the desired location. Same thing goes for the force. Once you have the force located, you can drag to change the vector or magnitude. You can also edit the values by tapping on them and changing them. In this case, I want to go to 90 degrees for my angle and 500 pounds for the force. A tap and hold allows me to add the weld. Notice my reaction forces calculate automatically. I can also query individual members to see the forces and reactions on those. Another really handy feature is scaling the diagram all at one time. And we can do this two ways. I can dimension any member inside of the diagram and everything will scale uniformly. Or I can add a line segment and dimension that. Once my line is in place, I change my value. In this case, I'm going to make it 12 feet. Now every member in my diagram is scaled to that reference. I don't need my line anymore, so I can simply delete it. So let's take a quick look at some additional controls. Across the top of the screen, I can add new diagrams. I can undo and redo. And I can also zoom extents. This is very similar to double tapping. I can also create reports. When no members are selected, the report contains diagram information about all of the members. When a member is selected when you create a report, only that member is included in the report. I can share these reports or print them. The gallery is where our free body diagrams are stored. And by the way, force effect saves automatically while you're creating your diagrams and when you enter the gallery. You can mail these free body diagrams as a force effect source file. Your recipient could then open them and modify the diagram in force effect. You can also attach a DXF copy of the diagram. 
You can also send your diagrams to your account in the Autodesk Cloud. You can download diagrams from that Cloud account as well. The duplicate free body diagrams are then stored in your gallery. This allows you to iterate and create new versions of those diagrams. The gallery is also where you delete your diagrams. If you need anything else, check out the help. Thanks for watching.